The stock themes available for your Nintendo 3DS are pretty poor to say the least. But today I'm going to show you everything that you'll ever need to know about custom themes. There's a bunch of great themes created by the community, fully customizable. I'm going to show you exactly how you can install them for yourself today. We're going to be using an application known as Anonymy. Assuming that I am pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I'm sure somebody will correct me down in the comments down below. If you don't have Anonymy on your 3DS currently, obviously your device will need to be modded. I've got a full video guide linked in the description which covers the process for any model Nintendo 3DS. Check that out if you haven't already done so. But if assuming you have followed that guide, you will actually get Anonymy installed by default. But if you don't have it yet, um, there is an additional link in the description where you will find a GitHub page for Anonymy. You can scan the QR code using FBI through the remote install feature and install Anonymy through there. But assuming you've already done that, then I'm going to show you everything that you're ever going to need to know about Anonymy and custom themes. So go ahead and open that up. Now, once you have Anonymy open, you should see something similar to my screen down below. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over to here. And this is going to download the available theme list. Now, that's going to download the available theme list for you. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of uh, available options there and um, to over 2000 pages worth but if we just have a look through here and um, we can see a bunch of different and um, these are custom themes which have been made by the community so we can see here we've got a gohan uh, dragon ball z theme now what you can do is you can preview the theme before you install it so if we just press y on this one we'll get a preview and you can see, it gives us a, um, a good overlook of what the theme is going to look like. And we can also see what the folders will look like. Now, once you find something that you're happy with, um, so if we go ahead and install this Gohan theme, we just press A, and that's going to download the files. Now, once the theme is downloaded, it will bring you back to the sort of the app store here. Now, what we're going to want to do is press B and come back and then we can see the themes that we have downloaded. So if we press A to install that, we're going to get a bunch of options here at the top. And I'll just explain what these are now. So if you see here, if we press down, we're going to be able to do a shuffle install. A shuffle install. Now, this will allow us to install up to 10 different themes at the same time. And the console will shuffle them. Just every, so every time you reboot um, the console, it'll shuffle between those 10 themes. You can see here we've got BGM only install and no BGM install. This is referring to the background music, which comes um, pre-packaged with the theme. If you don't like it, then you can install it um, without the background music and then find the background music that you'd like and simply just install the background music only. Quite useful uh, for customizing the themes to your liking. But for this example, we're just going to go ahead and do a normal install. And it will proceed to do that now. It doesn't take too long. Once you're done, now we're going to press start to exit. And that's going to bring us to this screen. We're going to want to power off the console. Now we're going to power back on. And once we boot back on, the new theme will be installed. And there, as you can see. Now, one thing just to bear in mind is it may take a little bit longer to boot up the first time that you install a new theme. And um, so you should bear that in mind. Now, there is one other thing that I want to want one other thing that I want to quickly show you. So, if you have the H Shop installed, and um, there's a bunch of other great themes available through the H Shop. These will mirror the themes that were once available on the Nintendo eShop prior to its shutdown. Um, these are the official themes 
um, which are Nintendo approved, I guess. But yeah, there's a bunch of themes available in in the eight shop. And um, if you haven't got the eight shop yet, I'll leave a link to the. Um, well, no, I won't leave a link, but you can search on Google um, for the eight shop, and you can install it there. Just to give you a quick example here, we've got the 39 music theme. No idea what this is, but we're going to install it and let's see what it is. Now, once you have downloaded the theme from the eight shop, um, you're going to want to go ahead and open Anonymy. And you should see that your downloaded theme will appear in the list of themes that are available. So as you can see here, the 39 music theme. We'll go ahead and install that. And where we put it in, and just like that, we have the theme from the 8 shop installed. But that's going to pretty much do it for this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see me cover in the future, let me know in the comments down below. But until then, I will see you all on the next one.